Hi there, awesome viewers, and welcome to the second episode of this devlog for the Nameless Ghibli project. Today, I'll show you how I made the rocks of the game, which, as you might be able to tell, are using the custom tune shader from the last episode. In this scene here, I have only six rocks, but by rescaling them and changing their texture, it's possible to get a wide variety. It's quite important to keep the number of rocks low, not only because having more assets in the game can have a big impact on the game's performance, but also because the less assets I have to deal with, the less trouble I'm bound to run into in the future. Six rocks isn't actually such a low number for a game like this. As an example, in this shot from the walking simulator Firewatch, there's also only six rocks. And, if I'm not mistaken, they don't really use many more of them in the whole game. That taking into account that we're talking about a game that's filled with rocks. All of this is just to say that in the future I might just cut some of the rocks from the game. Now let's get into it. Here we are in Blender, and I'm just quickly creating the shape of a rock by subdividing a cube and then applying a displace modifier on it. Next, I went into the edit mode and moved around the vertices of the object, just to get an interesting shape. For this whole first part, I actually followed this one minute tutorial, because I had no idea how to do this, but it turned out to be fairly simple. After getting the rough shape done, I did some light sculpting to define the final form. In general, these rocks are quite simple in their shape, so there's no need to overcomplicate things. The interesting part of these rocks though is in the texture, for which I made this lovely shader spaghetti. If you want to know more about it, take a look at this detailed tutorial. Remember that all the links to the videos will be down in the description. After playing around a bit with the colors and other properties of the shader, I get this rock, which changes its aspect depending on its location. This is very cool, because I can just move it around until I get the look that I want. I created all these other rocks off screen using the same method, and now I just have to export their meshes and textures separately. Back in Unity, I imported the mesh, created a material that uses the tune shader from the last episode, and assigned the texture I created in Blender to the material's main texture. Additionally, I set this texture for the color ramping, and if I ever change my mind about it, it's super easy to just replace it with another one. For the finishing touch, I set a very thin outline in the shader setting. Sometimes it's barely visible, but it still makes a big difference. With all that done, I can finally start placing the rocks in the scene. By rotating and resizing them, we can get very different results. Let me know down in the comments what you think of these rocks, and if you would do anything different about them. And that's gonna be all for today, people. If you liked this video, why not give it a like? You might also wanna subscribe to the channel to keep up with the game's progress. I'm gonna be creating more content and you'll be able to share your thoughts on the game and directly impact its development. Thanks a lot for watching and see you next time. Bye-bye.